Hi everybody. Um, as I promised on uh, today on Facebook, um, I've been working like on a three videos, and if I have time, uh, we'll do the fourth one. But that's too much pressure sometimes. Um, the first video I want to make it. It's probably maybe going to be a little bit short, but it's about um, why the twin flames come out and open at some point. Uh, why they uh, break the chains and uh, why did they remove the, everything that holds them uh, in that position uh, on it. Um, just to remind you that uh, when you are at uh, your journey as a twin flame, you have this um, continuous improvement and at some point that improvement kind of like gets you stuck. Uh, you know when you get stuck, when nothing moves, nothing's changing, nothing gets kind of like uh, get into it to get, start getting aggravated, you start getting, well, there's nothing going on. And um, at that point, uh, some of you, um, they reach out and they're like, you know what, I, I don't do what I'm supposed to do, what I'm missing here. Uh, what you're missing here is that uh, the soul wants its uh, evolution. And if you don't come out out and open, then the soul does not evolve anymore. Um, the reason I'm sharing this with you is that um, when I come out out and open uh, as a twin flame, uh, there is a lot of things happen. Um, I start getting more downloads i start getting uh, much better i start getting to embody more of the soul in me and i will explain that the embodiment of the soul it's when you put your soul in control and you start getting these vibrations of the soul within your body and that's what uh, it's all um increasingly active uh, within the twin flames because that's what the connection is the connection is these vibrations within the soul and since the twin flames they're one soul but within the two different bodies um, that caused a lot of problems and a lot of challenges which they're not challenges but those are lessons and what happens as a twin flame, once you learn the lessons, you start uh, on your own to teaching them. The soul automatically sets you up on a journey for you to teach lessons. And little by little, you may not even realize it, you become uh, from the learner on the journey, you become the teacher of the journey. And this is why the twin flames, they evolve uh, so fast and so much, some of them, because uh, they get used to do, to the energy, they get used to, to the high vibes, they get uh, this uh, lifestyle as a soul. You can go and get an, uh, a twin flame and you can tell them, you know, hey, you should go back and, you know, and try live like the way you used to live like two, three years ago. And, Twin flames is gonna look at you, it's gonna be like, ain't happening. Why? It's uh, because the soul knows its way now. The other thing it is, is that uh, when a twin flames comes out and open, they overcome every fear in them. First of all, it's what I mean by fear. If you come out and open, a lot of people have their fear. Oh, this will happen, that will happen. Oh, this will think about me. What about these people? They're going to think about me. What about my family's going to think about me? What about the blah, 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 blah. So you prevent an energy that's coming in you to be kind of like let it go for the community. So once the souls understand that your family doesn't matter uh, your uh, friends if they're your friends guess what they will accept you who you become uh, if they don't how good friends they are your family if they don't understand let me tell you what they want uh, because they're not you even if they are your own blood uh, a lot of the twin flames they're actually 
maybe have a bloodline, but they came to that family to solve a problem into that bloodline, not to have a relationship with that bloodline. Um, and if you find yourself that uh, everyone of your family, they're uh, kind of like cold towards you, kind of like you were always misunderstood, you got born in that family for a reason to teach them a lesson uh, that your family should uh, appreciate you of who you truly are. And when the soul comes out, uh, the soul is going to be like, I don't care about this. Uh, I have my own power. I have to embody my power. I have to go and work for the community. And whoever you are, you try to go against me. I don't give a crap. And the soul will start getting to have much more power. And once you start getting to have this much more power, you start becoming um, a much, much different person as personality. You probably will become a uh, um, writer, speaker, uh, or some way, somehow, you gonna your message will start going to go uh, out throughout the community. And um, this is why the soul as the twin flames once start to fully embody the um, embody the insight of it and takes over the control over the ego uh, the soul kind of like moves together with the vibes of the universe and i know this uh, some of the twin flames they'll be really coming out uh, so strong uh, in the next uh, few months and those twin flames which they're gonna come out they're gonna be uh, very powerful messages delivered from the universe and that will be happened when uh, Uranus uh, he's gonna become retrograde I'm talking right now for Uranus uh, uh, retrograde but I need to make the post for it <laughs> and uh, I've been a lot of busy lately uh, I promise I will do it this weekend and um, here's the thing that when the twin flames comes out and open it allows you full full power of the soul to start and work on it for the universe because when the twin flames it's inside of the let's say like uh, of the secret rooms it start learning and 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 hiding and hiding and learning and hiding and gets in this ups and down till you reach a position that uh, you know if you know the U curve of the progress all of a sudden just takes off straight up um, and that's what happens to the soul too um, the soul out of the sudden it just takes that little uh, U-turn like very straight sharp and goes all the way up and 10 it is what it is you walk talk act as a twin flame as a soul and you helping others and this is the main purpose of the twin flames it's you to go out and serve you to go out and serve the community somehow some way um, mostly the twin flames is they serve with their vibrations in the soul when you walk out the street your vibrations they are magnet to the rest of the population and you kind of like uh, passing those vibrations to them you basically give them the knowledge through those vibrations uh, from one person to another and that knowledge of a twin flames is travel from you to that person and when that happened, this is how we do our job. Our job is to increase those vibrations and earth because there is a lot of things going on that is not right. Um, people think that uh, the marriages are the right places, whatever they decide to with whoever they decide to and down the road they find out they're in the wrong place and they've been doing the wrong things. Uh, with the wrong personality because uh, they should have teach everything that uh, you have to look the people soul and uh, not what uh, money prestige cards uh, or social status uh, they have um, and 
There is another thing uh, also happens when you become uh, out and open. You stop uh, having this uh, internal worries inside of you. Um, you worry about who's what, when, and where, and all that will really just gone. Uh, yes, you go into work, yes, you have a job, yes, you do your normal 3D human activities, uh, but uh, your soul wants you to go on your journey. And as I always, uh, I've been telling everybody that asking you what should I do on my journey, uh, always is one thing, uh, listen to your soul. Your soul knows the way. Believe it or not, this is your compass. This is your navigator, and this is your um, your everything. Once you align it with the ones that within the universe, uh, you align it at whatever has been designed for you. And there is gonna be people, and there's gonna be some actions. There's gonna be some uh, uh, ups and downs, and uh, I mean it's normal. Uh, I mean, you always had a ups and downs in a normal life. Why you think expecting you should have uh, no ups and downs in, in a soul life? You will. There's going to be some challenges. There's going to be some learning. There's going to be some upgrades. Uh, but uh, when you become as an open, you actually become as an example of it. And this is how the twin flames will actually start uh, to evolve. You comes out from the hiding community that you are as a twin flame. You become out to the open community that you bring that hidden knowledge that has been there. You put it out in the open. And the change uh, is not going to be easy. It's never been easy. Um, I mean, take a look at it, for example, um, you know, the three major religions, you know, uh, Christianity, uh, Muslims, uh, and um, you also take, you know, the Buddhism, you know. Um, what would have happened if uh, Jesus Christ didn't come out in the public and you start doing his teachings? What would you know about it? Um, what if the Buddha was actually today, it's his birthday, um, comes out and didn't went out and didn't do it what he did and he didn't come out and open he says like you know you have to have the balance and you have to go to the middle way and you have to have all those teachings so you can stop uh, reincarnating uh, what about uh, the teachings that Muhammad put out and he could have write those uh, um, writings in the cave and he would not share it out and open and nobody would have known nothing about it the soul knows that has to comes out and open and shares what it needs to know with the information and that's why a lot of the twin flames they will come out uh, those are uh, enlightenment empowerment uh, souls that uh, came here to do the work now a lot of people's gonna ask me, but what about my twin? What about my twin? Here's what about your twin. Also, is my twin. They know we have stuff to do. You know that they know we gotta be together. And here is the thing, the problem. What are you gonna listen? Are you gonna listen to society? Or are you gonna listen God? Because if you can't serve the missions together with your twin, you got to get your things together and get to work. Because uh, if I have to um, depend on uh, my twin to come together, then I have to come out and open and not doing the stuff that I'm, I know I'm supposed to do and my soul leads me to do it, uh, I won't be doing what I'm doing right now. I would have become, I wouldn't make those videos, I wouldn't have done the things that I needed to done. So, my twin have her own responsibilities, not to me. She don't own pretty much, not much t to me. Because she and I 
have this connection for reasons from God. She owns it to God, and that is her responsibility, not to me, to God. And there's going to be a point of time that we have to report to the big man upstairs. And what are you going to report? It's whatever it is. It is what it is. Things happen. And you know what I mean by things happen. So uh, you as an open twin flame, you gain a lot of power, a lot of boost, a lot of knowledge. I've been downloading so many stuff. Get this light up in here. Um, new astrology books. Um, been working on it, and I just, uh, I just got this beautiful baby. It's a karmic astrology. Okay, uh, it's a by Martin Schulman, and mostly it's about retrogrades. So um, I'm gonna be some, doing some good study and good readings on it. Um, and the last message I want to put out, it's like, uh, what do you fear? So you're not becoming open. What's going to happen if you become an open as a twin flame? That the water is going to run out? That the river is going to be dry? Um, that the grass is going to become red? The dirt will disappear? What is your fear? So the soul at some point has got that evolution that overcomes all your obstacles. And when you know it's time, uh, you will know deep inside of you that it's time for you to go out and do your things. And again, just listen to your soul and be love. See you later, guys.